So I'd like to be able, through this program we're developing, not only teach you how to move, make a movie, but teach you how to distribute, teach you how to do your own sales contract. One thing about artists that they got to do, the universities, school of the art, everybody's got to teach you, give you business courses. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's a one mistake. A lot of artists are we get le- yeah, we're they're like, okay. all creative. No, all creative, but no analytical. Yeah, yeah. So we should be required, you know, with BFA and drama, okay, you need a business course. Yeah. And you need a yeah. contract law course. I agree with you. And yes. you know who told me that? Red Skelton. You know who told oh, me yeah. that? Wow. At, at UNCG. Yeah, I'm I I think we had ten people in our acting class because it was a selective group that you got picked to come back every year. So we have, a, we have a special guest today, boys and girls. So we hop down to Taylor Auditorium. We're sitting there, and I'm sitting in the front row, and there's 10 of us. And out walks Red Skelton, who I thought had passed away already, you know, <laughs> in 1984, <laughs> who I adored. You know, he's every comedian's. It's like he's like the Elvis Presley of com- yeah. comedy, right? So out walks Red Skelton, looking great, walking, talking. My God, it's Red Skelton. I grew up watching Red Skelton. Yeah. He sits down in the chair for two hours. He talked about Hollywood. And one of the key things he said to us, you boys and girls, you need to, you know, you should be taking contract law class. He says, I own every episode of Risk Hill Show. Wow, that's awesome. Because when I did my deal with NBC, I made a contract that I owned the material. They didn't care because they didn't think it was ever going to air one time. That was it. But yeah. I knew, I knew that that was going to be a way I could make money later on in my life. And he was right. He was a brilliant comedian. But that night he did a two-hour show at the Greensboro Coliseum. Nobody, hardly anybody showed up. But I took pictures. I got an autograph. It was Red Skelton. My God, Red Skelton. Yeah, that's awesome. Another opportunity happened. I met Jerry Lewis at School of the Arts. He was doing a golf tournament. Somebody <laughs> invited him over. He came over. These are great moments. You know, these are yeah. great things. Like like meeting Johnny Depp or who else do you name famous? Uh, well, you met Spielberg. Spielberg, yeah. You know, and I uh, and Giannis and my my goal is I got a movie. I got a script I want to do. I got shut down because of COVID. Hope it start back up in January. Brilliant script based on a funeral director who lives in Kernsville called Broken. Uh, so I found a deaf funeral director when he was deaf. Uh, and he grew up with this challenge of being deaf as a kid. Learned to read lips. Nobody knew until he was like nine that he could read lips. <coughs> so he worked his, he got a hearing aid, finally worked his way up to become because he didn't have to deal with live people yeah he became funeral director <laughs> you know because he had a challenge there but he became funeral director of the year in 2017 of the whole united states wow. he lives in kernsville he's got two funeral homes brilliant guys so he and i became friends i optioned his book he had a book biography so i optioned the book wrote the script we're supposed to make the movie the movie got flatlined so we, i've got a brilliant script so i'm hoping when i make this movie i'm going to knock on Giannis's door and say Giannis. Uh, I want to show you this film I made, and incidentally, you know, if you like it, would you tell Stephen that you've got a new director <laughs> you'd like him to look at? So, <laughs> so these are things I have in my head. So, but uh, but I, I love working on movies. It's my it's my my life. You know, I grew up watching television and wishing I were there. And so you can't imagine what it's like to finally show up in L.A. And see all the things I've seen, all the site, all the locations, yeah. you know, I visited or worked on, you know, I saw on TV as a kid. It was just a wonderful experience. I miss L.A. I moved back four years ago. I don't miss the politics. I don't miss some of the other issues that are out there, the expense of having to pay rent and the bills and everything. Yeah, it's very expensive. I think they're raising the, the state income tax to 16% yes. now, right? Yeah. Oh, it's nuts. It's 16 half, 16, or 13 half going to 16, I can't yeah. remember. And, and, yeah. and they don't have to. There's a lot of wealth in California. Yeah, and a lot of it's leaving. A lot of it's leaving. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> so bring it here. Yeah, you know, that's right. Bring come it, here yeah. to make your movies. we got lots of talent. we got lots of actors. Hey. California needs to come to North Carolina. If Atlanta gets too big for his britches, bring it on up here, Tyler. Yeah. Yep, and, you know. Tyler's good people, huh? good people. So, yeah. you know, he did the right thing by his state, the uh, place he grew up in. I'll tell you, if you're worried about investing, anybody ever watching watching this, if you want to know where to invest, what markets to invest, look where everybody that's leaving California and New York, look at where they're traveling to. Yeah. Whatever state they're moving to yeah. in the city, and I can I can name five of them. That's but true. Those markets are about to boom because you get a lot of wealth that's moving to an area. And, and what are the people that got wealth typically don't just sit on their haunches. Nope. Right. They're not sitting on their hands, right? Like – they're producing, they're creating, they're innovative, they're bringing, they're going to, wherever they live, they're going to 
they're going to put a project together. Yep. And that's coming. They're and gonna, they're going to yep. make it happen. They're going to make it happen, and projects are going to start up. And that's the that's what you're talking about. It reverts back to North Carolina. If they can get those film incentives, guess what happens? Yeah. It brings a lot. Of it's going to bring a lot of opportunity to this place. Yeah. And they so. they developed a film commission board or something like that. And I'm sitting here thinking, and I've done all these damn movies, and I got two Emmy awards, six nominations. Nobody's called me once. And said, <laughs> what do you think, Dean Jones? I know you know a lot, and no one's asked me that question. And they're bringing all these other people. Have I don't know who the board members are, and I don't want to offend anybody. Yeah. But they put this board together to how can we get movies here? I can tell you exactly how. You do it. Nobody's asked me. Yeah, I'll tell you exactly what to do, but you got to do it. You know? I think I think most of the people in the film industry of what what's left of it here would be able to tell you that. Yeah, exactly what's wrong with it. You know who should be on? Jesse should be on that board. You know, I should be on that board. You know, you guys should be on that board. People who actually done it should be on that board. People well, I understand actually, business, so yeah. Yeah, if you put the two together, yeah. put the talent, the business together. Yeah, it's a winner. We, we haven't done film yet. We've we've been talking about some things, but I got to figure out how to. So there's there's a, there's very few things that we do in life that that I'm not worried about. How do I get paid or what's my exit? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, normally we know all those things going in. It's very predictable. Um, there's exceptions to that. Like this is one of the exceptions to that. This is more of a passion project, kind of yeah. a, something that we enjoy doing. We've we've talked about doing film and producing things, and we've got the budget to do that and the capital to do that. We're trying to figure out the part we don't fully understand is the is how to how to properly monetize it. Yeah. Distribution. Yeah. Have your own distribution. I'm doing that currently. I know a lot about the art side of yeah. it. I'm an actor, yeah. so I understand a lot of the creative side of it, but I don't understand a lot of the production side of it. I could help you with that. But I want to get into that, though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Perhaps you guys should come down to Burlington. Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah. Look at the overall scope of what we're doing <laughs> and talk about how to monetize something and how to make the right choices yeah. in scripts, right choices in who puts in the movie. And as long as you have one star, somebody that's bankable, that our distribution comes say, okay, yeah, Hallmark will buy that for yeah. five hundred thousand. I could get Netflix will pay a hundred thousand for it. Live, uh, uh, Kenya will pay twenty thousand. All, all these countries got domestic foreign territories will pay, and they give you a list. I have this list of what each person will pay, low, medium, and high, and we'll start from there. So if you guys are interested, we could work yeah. together. Maybe yeah, what sure. we could do with the four guys in this room, figure out how to get that new grant going. That'd be great too, man. yeah. Yeah. So I think we got an opportunity. I was going to allude to that earlier. We'll talk about it off air, but uh, yeah. another day. But we, we've also got some good attorneys that could probably help. Yeah, us good attorneys too. in Wake yeah. County that live in. We've got people in Raleigh, connections to lobbying firms. And yeah. I got a couple of congressmen who are ready to talk about it who have yeah. been after me for a while. Uh, the thing is, we get, get things moving, get the yeah. first project, second project behind yeah. it. Uh, Hire all local folks. 